if you have that special itch and you want to start burning dollars as quickly as possible, I mean, if you want to start shooting film, you need to choose a preferred format and a camera. Let's say you've chosen medium format as your middle of the road, I'm not quite ready for the whole shebang of the large format poison, and now you need a specific camera. Let me suggest the Mamiya RB67 as a terrific option. With only 10 images per roll, you'll burn those hard-earned bucks pretty quickly. And if you're wondering why I should spiral down that rabbit hole of shooting film at all, you might want to check out this video right here. The RB is what is known as a system, meaning lenses, ground glasses, viewfinders, film bags, and various other additional components are all interchangeable. It means that you can get a couple of those in various different versions and switch them out. In terms of optics, the Mamiya glass is way up there among your Hasselbloods, Leicas, and Contexes. The lenses are very sharp, yet Hang on a second. Sharp, yet not too clinical. They have character. There's almost like this texture to them. I can't quite put my finger on it. The RB is quite different from other girls of her class in these two respects. She doesn't have a focal plane shutter, but rather each of the Mamiya lenses have what is called a leaf shutter inside them. Also, you don't focus these lenses by turning the focus ring because there isn't any. There is no focusing helix inside of these lenses, but rather you focus by turning this knob right here. Once you've hit critical focus, you lock it by this lever right here. These are some remarkable feats of engineering, which I'll try to demonstrate with my quite mediocre photography skills throughout this video. couple of different film bags for the RB. There's the original 6x7 bag, there's the reducing 6x5 bag, and there's even a Polaroid bag, which I do own, but since nowadays we often have to choose between shooting 10 Polaroid images or eating food for about a week, I rarely shoot with that one, if ever actually. Now the film bags on the RB are somewhat of a genius invention, if you ask me. Because, you see, they sit on this rotating platform, which you can, well, rotate. So if the camera is fixed on a tripod, which most often it will be, since it's so heavy and so awkward to use, you simply rotate the back to get into portrait orientation. Get it? RB, rotating back.
When looking at your frame through the viewfinder on the RB, you can't but feel both blessed and cursed at the same time. Blessed because it's glorious in its brightness and its 3D pop, but cursed because it's also horizontally backwards. Left is right, right is left. You move right, the image moves left. Unless, of course, you get one of them eye-level viewfinder prisms, which enable you to shoot from, well, the eye level. But those cost an arm and a leg and make this already heavy camera this gigantic beast which weighs almost 50 pounds. The process of using the RB is a quite an adventure in itself and a terrific foray into the world of larger format photography. Sort of like getting a puppy as a practice for having a kid. First you scoop up the tiny little poops as a rehearsal for that large poop that's coming your way. So take the camera in your hand, remove lens cap, extend lens hood, Enable shutter, open viewfinder, open magnifier, cock the shutter, wind the film, focus, compose, lock focus, <laughs> meter the light, set shutter, set aperture, recompose, recheck focus, remove dark slide, remember not to lose the dark slide, recompose, and fire. Cock the shutter, remember to wind the film, and you're ready to dance that RB dance all over again. So what useful conclusions can we draw out of this video, if any? Well, the RB67 is a very awkward camera to use. She's heavy and there's this sequence of actions you need to perform, almost like a mental checklist before firing off a frame. And she will definitely spend most of its life living on a tripod. Travel friendly. <laughs> you wish. But once you put those slides on your light box, boy oh boy, you just want to forgive her everything for as long as those moving parts are lubed and working. You see, there aren't many experiences in photography that can rival the sheer excitement of viewing your properly exposed slides on the light table. And the quality coming out of this camera just destroys anything out there, aside from large format film, of course. However, she and I will be going our separate ways, I'm afraid. You see, I own a Mamiya 645, which is actually my preferred format. And some time ago, I promised myself I would never become one of those gear hoarder people who stuff their shelves and cupboards full of gear which never gets used. These machines were made to create great art or just dear personal memories. I'll be passing this one on to someone who can Put it to better use. As always, catch you guys and gals in the next one. Bye for now. I got a job that felt like forever when I met you. You made me happy with dance through the night. Life was music and I was your wife. Time flies and the years went by. Still I tried. Oh.
before the summer begins and getting cool in the summer heat with you, my sweet. Sitting in the back of your car, wishing for this road to take us far. Now I 